Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bilfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi on the 6th of October anniversary. His Majesty praised the depth of bilateral relations, wishing these relations further growth and development. His Majesty the King wished the President good health and happiness and the Egyptian people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict Number 50 of 2021, adding a new clause to Article 1 of Edict 9 of 2019 on restructuring the Water Resources Council. The edict states the following: Article 1, the addition of Clause Number 10 to Article 1 of Edict Number 9 of 2019 on reforming the Water Resources Council, as follows. 10. The Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, CEO of the Supreme Council for the Environment. His Royal Highness also issued Edict No. 51 of 2021, appointing the following directors at the Secretariat General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports. Jassim Mohammed Yusuf Ishomali, Director of the Resources and Services Directorate. Maryam Isa Ali Awad, Director of the Planning Policies and Follow-up Directorate. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al Sisi, on the anniversary of the 6th October war victory. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince commended the depth of historic ties between Bahrain and Egypt. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Egypt, Dr. Mustafa Metbouli. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Qadabiya Palace. The cabinet congratulated the Shura and the Representatives Councils on the issuing of their Royal Order No. 35 of 2021 by His Majesty the King, convening the Bicameral National Assembly to resume its sessions. The cabinet expressed its determination to enhance bilateral cooperation and partnership between the two authorities in order to advance the kingdom's development for the good of its citizens and national goals. On the occasion of Royal Teachers Day, the Cabinet paid tribute to all teachers for their appreciated contributions in further strengthening the Kingdom's educational achievements, highlighting their pivotal role as one of the pillars of developing the Kingdom's educational sector. The Cabinet decided to adjust the day of its weekly meetings to be held on Sundays instead of Mondays for the next four meetings. The move was taken to ensure the continuation of discussion and of the decision-making process regarding the work and project of government agencies given that the regular meeting date coincides with official holidays and international participations. The cabinet congratulated the UAE on the successful opening of Expo 2020 Dubai and wished them continued success. The cabinet expressed Bahrain's solidarity with Oman following the devastating effects of tropical cyclone Shaheen. The Cabinet approved the following. A memorandum on the Higher Committee for Energy and National Resources to assume the duties of the Supreme Council of Oil and for the National Oil and Gas Holding Company to form the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Petroleum Company as well as appointing the management of the company. A memorandum on technical cooperation between the Government and the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights which aims to enhance cooperation in the areas of technical assistance, capacity building and programs for promoting human rights. A memorandum 
on the MOU on enhancing cooperation between the Ministry of Interior and the National Cyber Security Authority in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, protecting cyberspace through the exchange of information and the sharing of expertise and practices. A memorandum on cooperation between the Education and Training Quality Authority and the Commonwealth Council for Educational Administration and Management in the UK, which aims to enhance cooperation in the areas of research capacity building and quality assurance in educational administration. A memorandum by the Minister of Finance and National Economy and the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning related to the involvement of the private sector in the implementation of service projects contributing to accelerating the completion of projects as well as enhancing the utilization of the Municipal Common Resources Fund to finance other service projects. The Cabinet took note of several ministerial reports including the outcomes of the UNGA, the visit to Oman, the GCC Ministerial Council session as well as the results of the visit of Israeli Ministers of Foreign Affairs, Bahrain's participation in the International Government Communication Forum in the UAE, the opening ceremony of Expo 2020 Dubai and foreign visits of ministers and visits of foreign delegations to the Kingdom of Bahrain for the month of October 2021. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Ishana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the inauguration ceremony of President Ramadan Kadirov on the occasion of his reappointment as the President of Chechnya. His Highness congratulated the President on the occasion. His Highness Sheikh Nasser conveyed, conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Chechnyan President and his wishes of success and further prosperity in various fields. His Highness affirmed His Majesty's keen on establishing deep-rooted relations with Chechnya, noting his affirmation on bolstering friendly bilateral ties that are based on communication, cooperation and mutual trust. His Highness delivered a speech in which he expressed pleasure to convey His Majesty's greetings to the President of Chechnya, affirming that each visit strengthens solidarity and enhances unity based on a mutual understanding of the importance of bolstering bilateral cooperation to further develop the growing strategic partnership. His Highness added that this partnership enhances joint values and express pride that both countries share the same vision that support peace and tolerance as well as combat terrorism and extremism. His Highness affirmed that the Kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King is always keen on enhancing the bilateral relations and cooperation in all fields in order to achieve the best interests for both countries and people. On the occasion of World Teachers Day, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Naimi, participated in the Teachers Forum ITHRA, which was organized according to the directives of the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training, with the aim of briefing teachers on the latest educational and academic methods of the 21st century. And Naimi praised the unlimited support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness, Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to education in the Kingdom. His Majesty has congratulated the public on the beginning of the new academic year and expressed a pride in the achievements of the previous one thanks to the efforts of the education ministry and academic institutions which ensured the continuity of education. The education minister noted what was stated at the cabinet meeting which was held under the chairmanship of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister praising the contributions of teachers and their role as one of the pillars of developing the educational process. He also affirmed the ministry's keenness on developing the services provided Provided to teachers across the kingdom. The Attorney General, Dr. Ali bin Fadl al Bu'ainin, chaired remotely the 13th meeting of the GCC Public Prosecutors Meeting. Dr. al Bu'ainin hailed the efforts that were exerted to implement public prosecutors' resolutions highlighting Bahrain's latest legislations regarding alternative sentencing, urgent proceedings, and mediation in paneled cases as part of the Kingdom's efforts to protect children and safeguard their rights. The public prosecutors discussed key issues related to, ju to judicial cooperation operation, protection of children during the investigation and performance evaluation. Bahrain's public prosecution outlined its practices in implementing alternative sentencing for children and their protection from maltreatment, in addition to coordination between law enforcement authorities. 
The Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl Bouhainin announced that the terrorist crimes prosecution is currently conducting investigations into what the Financial Investigation Department and the Ministry of Interior revealed to monitor and seize financial transfers related to the financing of terrorism. The investigations revealed that one of the elements linked to the Lebanese terrorist Hezbollah, which is currently in Qatar, made transfers of huge sums to finance the terrorist entity. Three defendants received the money in Bahrain, who purchased and managed real estate in the kingdom to benefit from its proceeds in financing the terrorist Hezbollah. The terrorist crimes prosecution interrogated the defendants in Bahrain and charged them with financing terrorism and money laundering by receiving funds and making purchases with the intention of disguising its truth and concealing its source with their knowledge of its purpose. The public prosecution also sent a request for the judicial delegation to complete to the competent judicial authority in Qatar to complete the investigation requirements regarding the accused with the aim of prosecuting and seizing evidence. The Attorney General stressed the availability of the legislative and institutional structure in the Kingdom of Bahrain to detect and confront criminal activities and the financing of terrorism and money laundering and to cooperate with counterpart authorities in the world to combat crime, which indicates the Kingdom's keenness to combat terrorism and money laundering within the international efforts exerted in this regard. And the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus highlighted the importance and effectiveness of taking a COVID-19 booster shot based on national medical studies and statistics. The task force outlined that from the 1st of July to the 1st of October 2021, out of those who have been infected with COVID-19, 52% were among those who did not take a booster shot. Only 3% were among those who received the booster shot. It is therefore clear that booster shots increase immunity. The task force also noted that the booster shot is effective at relieving the severity of symptoms. The task force emphasized that booster shots for all the vaccines are available in Bahrain. It urged eligible individuals to register for a booster shot by visiting the Ministry of Health's website on healthalert.gov.ph or through the Be Aware application.